just what you are in everyone, Joanna Wilson here and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, I am a Cambridge graduate who's on a mission to try and help as many students out there as I possibly can, as well as entertain you and your family. Now today's video is an extremely requested one. It's how to plan an essay. Now this is mainly based towards students who are at university. I am gonna be doing a completely separate video for those biology students who will have to do an essay at the end of their biology exams. But today we're thinking about essays for university students, either for assignments or for exams, and how we can effectively plan them. Now, I've written a couple of things down about structuring the essay that I think are really important before we get into the plan. And then I've actually written out an essay plan myself that I would like to show you and talk through how I went through planning that. And then I'll show you the clip of the full essay for those who are interested in reading it at the end. So the first thing about an essay, it sounds pretty obvious, but it really does need to have an introduction, a middle and a conclusion. And it's really important that it flows from start to finish and you know what that flow is going to look like before you start the essay. So a couple of things to think about is subheadings. Some people like to put subheadings in their essays and other people do not. So that might just be something that you play with and you try for a couple of essays and try without and decide whether that's your style or not. The second thing I always like to say is the introduction of the essay is like the front door of the house, okay? So you need to make it sparkling and gleaming and setting the best impression possible for the person who's going to be reading the essay. A standard setup that I would do for an introduction would be a definition and explaining the concepts that we're going to be talking about. And then I need one or two sentences to tell the reader exactly what you're gonna talk about in the essay. Now, this is super important because it already tells the person who's gonna be marking it that one, you understand the question, and two, you're not just making it up on the spot, you know where you are going to go with the essay. When we then get to that middle part of the essay, again, it is important that we introduce and conclude each of the points. Now, every paragraph has to have a meaning. If it doesn't have a meaning, it shouldn't be in there. And I like to treat our points as mini essays themselves. So give them a bit of an introduction, a middle point with the bulk of your evidence and your explanations, and then a concluding sentence. And I'm sure you've always heard this from the people that are helping you, but always, always refer back to the question. This will help you not go on a tangent and off on something that isn't related. And it'll also help the reader know that you understand exactly what you're talking about. As well as always referring back to the question, it's so important that we're actually answering the right question. I cannot stress enough how much you need to read the question and thoroughly understand what is this asking me before you start writing. That is particularly important when you're in an exam environment and you're trying to be quick whilst doing things. Really take that time to read that question and ensure that you are answering what they want you to be answering. And finally, before we move on to my essay plan, it's a really good idea to link your ideas together throughout the essay if possible and they sort of set the good essays from the great essays if when you're talking about different points you can link back to points that you spoke about earlier in the essay and you can tie it all together in one big bow at the end in the conclusion so the essay that i was planning i've got my plan here and i'll show you me doing this in a time lapse over the top of where I'm speaking, was how does a concentrating kidney establish a gradient of an increasing osmolality through the renal medulla? How good is the experimental support involved and identify aspects of further investigation? So, whoa, if you know nothing about biology, I just spoke gibberish and that's absolutely fine. But I did need to pick an essay that I was familiar with in order to do this. First thing I did when writing out my plan is I highlighted the question and the important things that it was asking me. So I highlighted the concentrating kidney establishing a gradient. So I needed to explain how that happened. I then needed to write about the experimental support. 
and then identify aspects of further investigation. So it's asking me to do three things. And then what I did when I was writing out my plan is I used three different colours to make sure that in each of my points, I had spoken through those three different things. So just a quick overview of what I did in the plan. I wrote intro at the top and conclusion at the bottom and then identified my three big points that I was going to talk about during the essay. I actually based this on a previous essay that I'd written so I didn't go through this but what I would do if I was at university it would be to go through my lecture notes and add all the things with their respective colours to each of those points. Talk about your dates and your experimental evidence and the papers that you've been told about as well as the science that you've been told about. Really, really pad that out. And then after I'd done that going through my lecture notes, I would go through and look on the internet, any other papers that I could add to the research, which would just push me up to those top grades. Because obviously if you're going and doing that extra reading, at university then that's what's going to get you those top marks so I'd add any extra reading on top of what I'd done on top of my lectures and then I think about the introduction and the conclusion part and how we're going to tie it all together so important things for me in the introduction was I defined the key concepts I defined osmoregulation spoke about what that was and why it was important also spoke about that it relied on an increase in concentration through the renal medulla which is what the question was asking me I would then go on in my introduction to write about the three points that I was going to talk about in the essay. And these were three big points, almost mini essays themselves. And then the conclusion, it's really important to link and tie your ideas together. And I always talk about the importance of what I've talked about in the conclusion. It does pad out that conclusion and really come off with a round ending to the story that we're going to be writing. You can easily do this on paper or on a computer. It's entirely up to you. And if this was an assignment based essay, I would spend tons and tons and tons of time doing this plan so you had the real skeleton of the essay. If this was prepping for an exam, again, I would spend tons of time doing the plan. But then what you've got to do is try and learn those key dates, learn those key points and keep going over that material. I'm going to put on the screen the entire essay here, slowly scrolling down for anyone who's interested in reading it. If you are doing any renal biology or you're just a bit of a geek like I am, then you can have a read. But just to summarise what I've said, when I'm writing an essay plan, the first thing to do is identify the key concepts in the question and then choose a colour or a highlighter or whatever for each of those key concepts so that you know you're covering them all in your plan. The second thing is to outline your introduction and conclusion and then the key points that you're going to be writing about in the essay and then filling them in. I like to do it in a mind map style, but filling them in and ensuring that we're ticking off all those things that the question has asked us. I would do this for your lecture notes and material that we've already spoken about and then add further reading to it. From then, you should have a really good skeleton to write your essay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know what other videos that you'd like to see down in the comments because I really, really want to use this time to support you in the best ways I can. Shout out to A-level chemistry students if anyone is still watching. My OCR A-level chemistry checklist is now available and linked down in the description below and will be a game changer to support you. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible if you just work.